Hi everyone, and sorry for the delay. It just so happened that the day the update came out, I went on a vacation. It was nice. Now I'm back and I'll catch up. So I'll do two releases in one video. Um, the 3rd September release 2024 was basically having several changes um, that were cloud side as well as um, OTAs for your device directly. Um, so first of all, they're slowly integrating Beta Rabbit into um, the rabbit, <laughs> so you don't have to keep saying beta rabbit. However, um, it seems to still be different. So let's just give this a try with my favorite thing, the weather, uh, because there's nothing better than the weather. Um, let's start with beta rabbit. And apparently, well, oh, I don't want to spoil, but uh, wait, I think this was actually one of them. Yeah, so uh, we do two in one. So you can now, before you had to press and then press again to talk, so to wake it up and talk, and now um, it's enough to just press once and it will immediately start listening. This is a huge improvement um, because it's really kind of, I mean, it's just two taps, but still it's um, anything I think that removes, uh, sorry, that hinders speed of usage um, is negative. And in this case, um, that was a good move to um, reduce this to one button click. So let's try that out uh, right away. Um, let's get started. Beta Rabbit, how is the weather in Frankfurt? Checking weather in Frankfurt. The weather in Frankfurt on Tuesday is cloudy with 63 degrees okay. Fahrenheit, 2% precipitation, Wait. and 11 MPMBR wind speed. Let's get out of here. Back. Okay, I don't think it caught the beta rabbit that I um, said because the last time I tried the response from beta rabbit was a bit different. Let's try that again. Beta rabbit, how is the weather in Frankfurt? Beta rabbit here. Yeah. <laughs> Let me think. So that's the Searching for current weather typical, um, you know, better rabbit the current weather thing. In Frankfurt is cloudy with a temperature of 60 and degrees last time the I did this, um, it was actually showing me stuff. So it was showing me an overview that it's not doing right now. And uh, you can stop now, better rabbit. Um, it was showing me an overview and that looked different than when I um, requested from the regular rabbit. So I don't know why it doesn't show anything right now. It's interesting that it's not consistent. Um, but yeah, that's number one. So you still can say beta rabbit, but apparently it should not be necessary yet. The answers are still different. So maybe um, this is just not one of the functionalities that it's covered. So what they actually like, what I explicitly say is that um, you don't have to say beta rabbit to get uh, thoughtful responses to complex questions that require multiple steps of research and deeper reasoning. So maybe let's try try that out without saying beta rabbit. Let me think of something. Um, Beta Rabbit, I'm in Frankfurt and I would like to do something fun. Beta Rabbit here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what I can do. Looking for places. Uh, okay, but actually that's good for comparison. Let's let's do that anyway. I didn't want to say Beta Rabbit. Um, but let's see. Okay. Here are some fun activities and places you can explore in Frankfurt. Okay. Popular attractions. Okay, that's, that's... Nope, I don't want to listen to this. Okay. Address. No. Siesmeyer Strasse 23. <laughs> Oh my God. Frankfurt of Maine. It would be really cool if, yeah, okay. Um, let's try this again. I'm in Frankfurt and I'd like to do something fun. Looking for places. Okay, it's kind of the same, I guess. It's not really a complex question, but I can't think of anything super complex right now. Okay, it's Here basically are some the fun same. Fun activities you can enjoy in Frankfurt. Okay, let me just Escape go back. Rooms. Back. Okay. Um. Oh my god. Let's let me let me try something else. Let's go. I'm in Frankfurt. I need to wash my car near the city center and then I would like to go eat something. Looking for places. Okay, it's still yeah, still the same stuff. I'm just not complex enough to come up with a complex question that requires multi-level reasoning. So Here use car wash options. options. For washing your car and dining near Frankfurt City Center. Yeah, okay. That's... Car wash options. Yeah, we don't want to hear those. All right, so I don't have a good example for this one. If you have one, please let me know and I'll try it out. Um, next one is that R1... Oh, this we, this we covered actually. So the R1 now starts listening as soon as you press and hold the PPT, a PTT button um, from sleep mode. So you don't have to press twice anymore. That we. Oh, see, actually, it's funny that this should come up now because... This is actually the update from the 12th, what you just saw. 
sometimes when you okay when you do this you're like supposed to get into the menu but sometimes this comes up even if i don't really scroll on the wheel oh i think you just need a minimal scroll maybe i scrolled it by accident okay weird let's check this out in a second um let's get back to the third september update um vision ui updates to make cards appear faster i think they mean the cards like when when i ask beta rabbit something that shows up or when i ask for the weather the the other thing shows up um smart timer alarm minor bug fixes for edge cases okay very unspecific i don't use the smart timer so can't really say anything about that next one is the 12th sorry 12th yeah 12th september update um so this was from what i see what they advertised was one change here um wait you can still see from my interface for different activities tuning with the scroll down from my screen okay so what they say is previously um you had to shake the the rabbit twice to open the setting screen they have now changed this to scroll up and scroll up again and then it opens the settings i have actually when i tried this originally yes you know it goes nope uh, when i tried this originally I, I just did like this uh, like twice twice and it didn't work and i was like okay weird um but what you actually have to do is you kind of have to wait for this to show up and then you scroll up again so it's kind of um not just twice quick but rather scroll up wait to see this thing and then scroll up again the prompt um and then you can go back home as per usual now um it says now you'll be much less likely to accidentally open the settings menu while using the r1 so apparently it happened that people were like for some reason shaking their devices while using the r1 um and that prompted the settings menu to show up which was an issue i didn't have this problem so far but seems to have been a thing um next is you can still see the familiar interface for different activities running uh, for acti different activities that are running like music streaming with a scroll down from the home screen so i'm on the home screen and i scroll down but i guess nothing it's running so let me see if i can play something on spotify play country music on spotify into Spotify or Apple Music. Oh yes, right. The page on the rabbit hole. Actually, I did log in uh, one, nay, twice, I think. And then my Spotify password was reset by Spotify because they were like, hey, we've discovered some unusual activity on your account. And that's why I didn't try it again. So it's not connected to Spotify. I, I think it's not connected to anything, in fact. Um, yeah, so can't try this out, but uh, we shall trust that this still works as advertised. And that's it for the beta rabbit updates. See you this time, hopefully on time with the next update.